Cancer, welcome to your July 15th through the 30th of 2018 tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going under the sea with the Under the Sea Tarot deck and Dolphins and Mermaids Oracle. So that's really cool. But you're going to want to subscribe because August we're going to Wonderland and I'm super excited about that. I wanted to do it today but um, I had already planned this and uh, I wanted to do this. So this is what we're doing. Alright, so let's get started. What is the, happy birthday Cancer by the way. What is the central theme of Cancer's reading today? One card for the central theme. Okay, so I have Father Healing. Your personal power increases as you give your father-related issues to heaven. Okay, I need three cards for what's going on in Cancer's mind. Three cards for what's going on in Cancer's mind, please. So I have the... Six of Swords in the reverse. So you're carrying some baggage. You're unable to move on. I have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. So there's a freedom here. There's a way out. And the way out is to, for self-acceptance. <clears throat> That's how you're going to get out of this self-enclosed prison. It's by accepting yourself. And I see that there's some apathy, some depression. I have the uh, Five of Cups. There's sadness, loss, regret. You're being focused on the past. You're looking at the past. And that's causing you sadness in the present. The present moment is the only moment that's real. And that's what's right now. When you focus on the past, it's stealing your present. You're allowing it to steal your present moment. So you don't want to be focused on the past. It could be something that your father did to you in the past that you're still trying to heal from. Or some sort of male role model figure in your life. Alright, so what's going on in Cancer's family and home life? Three cards for Cancer's family and home life. Three exactly perfect. Alright, so I see that there's some sort of injustice here. Um, some things that's just not fair. Could have to do with a Libra. Yeah, karma came, but it didn't come in your favor. Um, <clears throat> there's some bad luck here, some challenges, setbacks. The past is haunting you. Again, we have this past energy coming back to haunt you. There's confusion, information overload. I'm getting a lot of Libra energy, so it could have to do with a Libra or just the energy of uh, somebody who's very diplomatic, somebody who's very tactful, someone who doesn't take sides, and you're focused on it. So what's going on with Cancer's money? What's going on with Cancer's money? Three cards with Cancer's money. Two more cards. One more card for Cancer's money. Alright, so you're in a position to give. 
that's really good. That means that you have enough for yourself and enough for others. So you're in a position to give financially. So financially, you're in a good spot. I see you taking time to yourself to contemplate. It's a period of contemplation, thinking about your finances and where you want to go with it. And then I have the Eight of Wands. This is Eight of Wands. Oh, this is the ten. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have the ten of wands in the reverse. So you're taking on too much here. There's a lack of direction. There's a lot of change here. I'm seeing a lot of change. I'm seeing a lot of communication. I'm seeing a lot of um, <clears throat> things are just unpredictable right now. Nothing is stable. It's just uh, there's a lot of movement here. I'm seeing a lot of movement. There's just a little bit of you here. And that's inside. That's your internal world. And the little bit of you is very sad, very apathetic. The rest is about ambition. I do see I do see stability here financial stability but your family and home life is just a whirlwind of activity and you're at a crossroads you're blinded and things are unfair or you would feel like things are unfair. Okay, um, three parts for about this father healing. What is this father healing about? I mean, there's some sort of theft, betrayal, broken home, misalignment of values. There's somebody who is very manipulative, very jealous, very bitter. Blocked or repressed emotions are here. I have the Seven of Swords. So there's betrayal, deceit, sneaky, lying. You need to be careful who you trust. There's mind games. Ten of cups in the reverse. There's a broken home, a broken marriage, a misalignment of values. We have the queen of shells and the queen of cups in the reverse. This is somebody who's very manipulative. This is you. This is cancer. This is bitter, jealous. This is you in the negative. This is gullible, easily influenced, clinging, moody, a heartbreak, sadness, bloom and doom, blocked or repressed emotions. What's going on in cancer social and social social and romantic life? Three parts for cancer, social, and romantic life. Two more cards. So things are coming in slow. Could be with Pisces. You're very nostalgic. There's a lot of nostalgia. There's childhood memories here, but you're a little stuck in the past. It could be with a Scorpio or just that Scorpio energy. 
Things are very slow, but steady and practical and grounded. We have the uh, Knight of Starfish here. So he breathes new life into plants. He makes things happen. He's very ambitious, a hard worker. He's definitely devilishly handsome. He's muscular, athletic, stocky, well-mannered, helpful, conscientious. He takes responsibility. He sees things through to completion. He's reliable and loyal. He works tirelessly in the background. He dresses conservative. He's predictable. He's consistent. He's naturally protective or defensive. He's a master of do-it-yourself projects. He recycles. He's very down-to-earth. He's a traditionalist. He's stubborn. He could be a Taurus. We have Scorpio and Taurus here. Then we have Pisces. So your romantic and social life, I see things are very cohesive. Things are very getting along very well. We have water energy, which is very emotional. We have um, earth energy, which is very practical and down to earth. So when the High Priestess comes up, this is your subconscious mind. This is your higher self. This is your intuition. But you need to go deeper for answers. Not everything is as obvious as it seems. She's holding the Torah, which is the secrets of the subconscious mind. So she holds all of the secrets. She is the subconscious mind. You need to use your intuition. So what's going on in Taurus's career? Three cards for Taurus's career, please. Two more cards for Taurus's Uh, king of Shells, which is the King of Cups in the reverse. So you could be dealing um, in terms of your career with somebody who's very narcissistic, someone who's overly emotional and moody, someone who's depressed, sulky, um, someone who could be kind of like violent, even a con man. Um, this could be addictions. You, you can't trust everybody in terms of your career. Uh, there could be, you need to gain qualification. You're building things. You can't cut corners. There needs to be teamwork here. And this is judgment. This is refusing to listen to your inner voice. Poor judgment. Being irresponsible. Unfair treatment. So you could be getting some unfair treatment at work in terms of your career. But you're breaking out. See, she's breaking out. You're escaping that. You're escaping that unfair treatment. The power is in your hands. And you're escaping that. And you're healing. All right, Cancer, thank you so much for joining me today. Again, happy birthday. Have a wonderful day. Ooh. Mm -hmm.